Hey guys, Crypto Dad here, and Trezor has just announced new wallets, the Trezor Safe 5, a Bitcoin only version and a multi coin version, but they have also released their new Slip 39 20 word backup phrase which is upgradable to a multi-share backup. It's a very interesting concept. It focuses on improving the user experience in making your backups and managing your private keys. So I'm going to take you through the process of using this 20 word backup with my Trezor Safe 3. Uh, the 20 word backup is compatible with the Trezor Safe 3 and the new Trezor Safe 5. Keep in mind, if you want to do this, you need a brand new device. You cannot upgrade an existing device that's already using a 12 or 24 word seed phrase. So in my case, I moved all of the crypto off of my Trezor Safe 3, safe and secure to a different location, and then I wiped my device so that I have a brand new device. We're going to have to go through the uh, Trezor Suite upgrade, and we're going to need to upgrade the firmware on this Trezor Safe 3. So I'm going to take you through everything step by step, so join me as we use the new 20-word backup from Satoshi Labs. So I have my Trezor connected. I'm gonna launch Trezor Suite. So we've got brand new multi-share backup solutions. We've got uh, this new version supports their Trezor Safe 5, and there's several bug fixes. So please, guys, keep your software up to date. Don't be suspicious of software upgrades, especially if they're occurring within Trezor Suite. Uh, we'll go ahead and set up the Trezor. Uh, they want to update the firmware. So we'll go ahead and do this firmware update. So you're going to need to confirm on the device to update the firmware. Uh, this is a two button press here. Uh, you can see my device has two buttons and the install has uh, two indicators letting you know that you need to press both buttons for this. So go ahead and press both buttons. You'll see a progress bar on your computer and on your device. So kind of keep an eye on both of those. All right, and you might hear your device connect and reconnect. And we'll just hit continue here. It's going to do the genuine check. So the Trezor Safe 3 and the Trezor Safe 5 have secure element chips that allow a cryptographic handshake, which confirms the uh, integrity of the device. It, t it tells you that not only is it a genuine device, but that it has not been tampered with. This is one of the main functions of the secure element chip to prevent tampering, local tampering. All right, so let's hit start here. We'll confirm this on the device. All right, you can see it's just one button here. All right, it does the secure check and we're good. So we've passed the test. So if you think your box was hanging open or a little tiny piece of the corner of the box wasn't right, don't worry about all that stuff. This is what secure element chips are for. They are to double check the integrity of the device. So um, I could have found this device on the street and ran this genuine check and been thoroughly convinced that this device is not only genuine but has not been tampered with. All right, this is cryptography in action. Let's hit continue here. They give you some instructions on uh, the interface of the device and then hold to confirm. Just read these instructions. All right, and then we're gonna scroll down a little bit and hit continue. And then uh, this last one is a double button confirm again. All right, and then one more time here, we can continue or go through that tutorial again if we'd like. All right, and then we can continue here on our computer screen and let's create a new wallet. 
Now, here is the new interface, right? Before, you had the choice between a regular 12-word backup or a Shamir backup. Now we have several options. So we, we now have the 20-word backup types. Uh, we can still do a 12 or 24-word backup. And this is kind of interesting. They never really offered the 24 during setup as an option for setting up your device with a 24 word backup phrase. Now there are a lot of advantages with the 20 word backup, but uh, what's very interesting about these 20 word backups is that it is a list of 1024 words instead of 2048. And you may think, oh no, I want more words, not less words. But as I mentioned, these key spaces are uh, a gigantic and unfathomable, right? Akin to the number of grains of sand on all the beaches and all the worlds and all of our solar system, right? But the advantage of this, uh, these 1,024 words is that they have unique four-letter prefix, right, to avoid confusion and similarity between the pronunciation of any two words. Right, this is very important. The traditional 24-word backup phrase or the 12-word backup phrase comes from a word space of 2048, and there are a lot of words on there that are very similar, and can uh, the pronunciation is similar. It's easy for the end user to write the wrong word, uh, just uh, kind of in a gestalt way by seeing the word and maybe thinking it's a different word. So this new 20-word backup phrase has a smaller word set, which they're more unique, and the user is less likely to write the wrong word or uh, see the wrong word uh, because they are unique up to four characters. I'm going to include this article along with this blog article about the new uh, backup system, but trust me, the main problem with uh, crypto self-custody is users screwing things up. I know, I know. Um, I don't want to seem holier than thou, but that is the main issue. Everyone's worried about, you know, cryptographic security and firmware backdoors and all this crazy stuff that uh, are very unlikely. But what really needs to change with self-custody is to make it easier for the end user not to screw things up. And this new backup phrase does that. All right. So I'm going to choose the single share backup and notice that it's upgradable to a multi-share. So down the road, we can upgrade this to a multi-share. Uh, and what's the advantage of the multi-share is that I can hide it in different places and uh, I can have like say up to seven or even more uh, pieces of my backup. And uh, if someone stumbles on one of those, they don't have access to the wallet. They need the threshold. So it makes it more uh, redundant and uh, more difficult for someone uh, in, uh, you know, someone in your house, an intruder, find, stumbling upon one of your sh seed phrase shares, right? And what's interesting about this single share backup is that we can consider this a one of one. The single share backup scheme requires only one share, therefore can be thought of as a one of one multi-share backup, and it's upgradable to multi-share. So a uh, really cool way of uh, improving the backup. So I'll go ahead and create the single share. All right, I will confirm on my device. All right, we'll continue to backup. We'll acknowledge these, hit create. We'll confirm on our device. And then uh, we'll hit both buttons to confirm. And then uh, we'll show the words, all right? Notice the words will only appear on your device, right? They're not showing up on your computer screen. They're only appearing on the device, a safe and secure medium for revealing the words to the user, right? And there's gonna be 20. So um, I would suggest maybe a piece of paper with 20 lines. Um, if you're just getting started, pretty easy. Most, uh, I would assume that the 
Um, Treasure Safe 5 is going to come with a 20 word backup card. Or you can order one of the uh, backup metal from Trezor, which is specifically designed for storing uh, the 20 word seed phrase. And you can buy more of these, right? You've got the single share or you've got the multi share. So, but you do not have to buy these uh, metal backups to take advantage of the 20 word seed phrase. You can simply write it down on a piece of paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, and once you've written down all 20 words, you can hold to confirm. This looks like a single button here. Yeah. And then uh, click one to continue. All right, now they're going to give you a little uh, verification test. Just refer to your sheet, choose the correct word that they're asking you to um, look up in your table. So go to your table, look up your second word and choose it from the list on this device and then advance to the next. So remember, scroll through these words until you find your word, right? And then hit the select to select your word, right? And then uh, it's asking me for my 12th word. So just look up the 12th word on your sheet, choose it from this list and hit select. So of course yours uh, will be unique to you. It might ask you for the fifth, 19th or 20th, you never know, uh, but it's going to be unique, right? All right, when we're all done, we'll hit continue. And it tells me the backup is done. And then it wants me to set a pin. All right, and when you've entered all of your digits, you'll wanna go over to the enter and use both buttons here to enter. Then it will ask you to confirm your pin. Just have to re-enter the same pin you entered the first time. All right, and once we've got that done, we'll hit continue. And um, now we'll choose the cryptos that we wanna manage. They've got the most common already ticked off. Um, I don't have any XRP, I'll untick that. I don't have any Cardano right now. Uh, so I'll just choose these three and then uh, we can edit the name of the device. I'll just call mine Trezor Safe 3. Um, I only have one Trezor Safe 3, um, but you wanna make sure that you give it a, a unique label. If you have more than one, maybe um, change the names. All right, so it's just going to ask me to confirm uh, my name change, and I'll just, uh, just click this button once, right? And then uh, we'll hit Access Suite here. And I'm going to use the standard wallet. Hidden wallet would be additional security. Be very careful with this. If you forget this passphrase, you will lose access to any crypto that you drop into this wallet. Uh, if you're brand new, I would suggest using the standard wallet until you're more comfortable with crypto because I know a lot of people that think they want to get super secure and then they end up forgetting their passphrase and losing access. So I'm just gonna choose standard wallet and we're ready to go. So we've got a pristine device with empty wallets. We're ready to start onboarding some crypto and uh, we've got our 20 word backup phrase, which um, is a new protocol that can be upgraded later to a multi uh, share backup. But for now, I just wanted to show you how to get your device up to date and uh, start using that 20 word backup. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.